You know, why would you want to wear your pants so low that you could barely walk, let alone run? Now, witnesses say these kids were walking around looking like penguins out here, and not the cute ones either. Here's what can end up happening when a bunch of young knuckleheads are up to no good. You get chased by the cops, crash your car, and handcuffed. Well, that is the exact scenario of some teenage boys who thought they were big and bad, breaking into houses on Lauder Street on Detroit's west side. They took the TVs, computer, jewelry box, little stuff I guess they could get out that window. They need their beach. Somebody was going to kill them. Somebody was going to go in the wrong house, and their mama was going to have on her black dress. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth. May sound harsh, but hey, these neighbors are fed up, and they want these fellas caught. And when they saw these clowns creeping around, hiding in bushes like they'd stolen something, they called the cops. That's how the neighbors do over here. It doesn't surprise me at all. Doesn't surprise me, but whoever did it, they did a good job. Police spotted these young crooks, too, and all five of them jumped into this white car. There was a short chase down six mile near Sussex when they crashed into this pole. All four doors open. And they ran like roach you cut the light on. But witnesses say they really weren't getting anywhere because their pants were down. I mean, way down. They were down here. That's why he fell in the parking lot and they caught the other one in the alley right here. Pants on his butt. Don't make no sense. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. How bad was the sag? Oh, the sag was bad. What was he like? A penguin. <laughs> the scene was crazy, and it was all caught on this camera. The fire department showed up because the car burst into flames. The cops caught all five of these dudes, though. Now they're all locked up. I'm glad because I won't get broken into by the same guys. What do you want to say to them? Get some dignity. Go get a job, go to school, pull your pants up, and you'll be a better person. <laughs> Well, that's a start, but now they're all behind bars. And look at this. Look at this. The people responsible for this, four of them are 18 years old. The other is 17. And now, you know, the saddest part is they're facing some serious charges. We're live tonight in Detroit. I'm AI on the edge. Hey, let's uh, talk about those charges for a moment. You said they were hiding in the bushes like they stole something. The neighbors told us mm -hmm. looked like these kids were stealing things. Did they steal anything? Yeah, they broke into a house. They took several items. But the good thing is police were able to get them all back. And another thing is police want to credit those neighbors who spoke up because they say without them, there may not have been an arrest. Murray? All right. How many times have we said, if you see it, say it. If you hear yes. it, speak it. Speak up. You got it. AI, thank you very much. On the Edge. You bet.